the beautiful voice of Natalia Gonsalves. I'm standing here with Roger at the Portuguese Pavilion. I'm Alison Hall and we're continuing our Folklorama 2012 coverage. Roger, can you tell me a little bit about what we can see and do here at the Portuguese Pavilion? Well, uh, we would kindly invite everyone to come down. We have a lot to see. We have a huge cultural display on festivals in Portugal. Once you enter a hall, we continue our theme of uh, decorated the halls, all decorated in the festival season which brings a lot of energy into our pavilion. The people love to see it. And we also have a huge, um, as soon as you walk into the left, a huge display of what a cultural, uh, religious uh, event would be for a festival. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And so what about the performances? Oh, the performances, there are 71 dancers alone. Uh, a lot of us have been here since the beginning of 74. And it shows. It, it looks shows. like you're having a lot of fun, though. <laughs> oh, yes. The, uh, the objective is just to have fun. That's what we want people to come in and enjoy. We have a, a blast performing. We play around on stage, and that's, that's basically it. And we have three awesome musicians, uh, John Marks, uh, Ted Cruz, and Paul Burgenting. We have pork and clams, uh, chicken on the barbecue, chicken roasted in the oven, with salad, rice. We have vegetarian plate for those who require it. Uh, pastries, we get tons of it from Lisbon Bakery and Nino uh, uh, Bakery. That sounds amazing. So come on down to the Portuguese Pavilion, see some amazing dances of people having a lot of fun and taste some great food. Once again, we're at the Portuguese Pavilion and we're going to leave you off with some fabulous dancing.